I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. No one... What's up guys, we're finally back. Uh, sorry it's been a little while. Uh, so what ended up happening, I got COVID uh, for two weeks and my wife actually kicked me out of the house for a little while because uh, she was negative and her work wanted her to come back to work. So uh, I was kicked out of the house for two weeks so I couldn't film. Uh, then we got like 10 inches of snow here in Missouri and it was about five degrees for a week straight. Um, and then work has been extremely busy. So sorry I haven't been posting, but also not sorry because I'm kind of doing this uh, as I feel like it and kind of just to trying to enjoy it more than just trying to make, you know, content for people. Um, but today's going to be like a really just kind of a quick, simple video. We're going to be doing the door handles on the Z. Um, <clears throat> with the bumper and everything done and the new emblems, uh, I've got a couple things that I want to go ahead and change on the car. For now, it's going to be, um, I've got to order the front emblem and then the side markers. Uh, they sell a blacked out version from uh, Morimoto and they are like, they're on back order. I, I got in contact with uh, the retrofit source and they're on back order until about June or so. So i got to go ahead and order those so I can get them whenever they come in. Um, but the handles are going to be going like a satin black color with just some uh, paint and primer. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and pull those off and get that going today. <clears throat> and we'll take you guys along for the process and show you how to do it. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and pull off this door handle. Um, this is the driver's side. As far as I know, it's just this bolt and then these two grommets here. Um, and then there's two bolts in here. Um, you just got to be careful not to lose the bolts inside the door. It's best to use a magnet. My drill has a magnet attachment. I'm hoping that's going to be enough. If I do end up losing them in the door, I'll have to go buy like a magnet attachment uh, so I can fish them out. Um, but other than that, and then there's two clips on the inside um, that control the door opening and closing. And so we'll go ahead and pull those off. <clears throat> So we got the handle out. Only thing I want to say um, is that you see this little clip here? That is where, if, so if you have, um, I think only the US cars came with the push button lock 
which isn't there right now. That guy. Um, there is these two screws here, and they are um, thread blue thread locked in, um, and they're extremely hard to get. And I've also seen some people's be extremely rusty. Um, the first one came out okay. The second one really started to strip, and I had pretty much given up on it um, because it wouldn't. I couldn't get it to do anything. Um, if you run into that, uh, let's see if I can turn the flash on here. You see that blue clip there? You can pop that blue clip off, um, but it requires a lot of force, and I couldn't get it, so I went back to the screw again and gave it gave it my all, and eventually got it off um, enough to where I could swirl the piece off to the side. Um, I'm gonna now that it's off far enough, I should be able to turn it out with a pair of pliers, um, and I'll probably go get another uh, screw or something that will fit in that. But other than that, you've got you've got this piece here which clips into this that little white plastic piece there um, and then you just have to uh, kind of pop it out of where is it at um, pop it out of this bracket here um, you pop the cable out and then you gotta have to rotate that little ball around until it comes out and then you've got this little yellow clip here and all this thing does is just you just kinda move it a little bit uh, you pop it off and it, it comes off of the metal that metal line down there um, that took a little bit longer than expected so uh, it got pretty dark out um, but I'm gonna do this eat some dinner and then try to tackle the other side hopefully that side goes a little bit better um, also I recommend taping around this because once I started getting stuck on the one thing I mean you can see here I gouged through the tape on accident which I'm not too happy about I'll have to look at that um, but I guess it probably has less damage than it would have had if I wouldn't have had tape on it. So, um, good luck, guys. All right, guys. Sorry, that's really hard to film. Um, the passenger side was a little different. There wasn't that third bolt on the inner door jam there um, to to attach it. Uh, all you had on this one was the little the little ball that goes in here, and then the bracket that goes down here. Um, it doesn't have that other one. And then the button here, I ran into the same thing. This bolt, they both turned, and they were both turning fine. Um, but if you look real closely there, I don't know if you can see that little little crack. The uh, It's like a the handle's actually made out of plastic. And they put like a little nut cert inside of it. And it actually just spun and broke the plastic on the inside all the way around. Luckily it was out far enough to where I could turn this. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do about that. It was still holding the the button in enough to where I don't think it'll be a problem. I might just throw some silicone behind here uh, so the button kind of stays in place after um, because I'm afraid that this bracket's not going to hold it that well now. Um, but we're going to go ahead and sand them and paint them. So it's just sanding. So I took some 2000 grit sandpaper and just kind of roughed them up a little bit um, just to kind of smooth them out. One thing I did realize um, is that if you keep
can't pop that blue clip off, your your locks here don't come with you. So I'll have to find a, I'll have to like make a little block off for the car and just do a quick quick spray on them uh, so that they're black too. Because if not, they'll be silver. Uh, All right, guys, we went ahead and sanded the handles, pulled them off. Um, I also found out that the buttons. Remember how I was mentioning the buttons. Uh, got left on the car. They're just like a little insert on top of here and so they just popped off so I I went ahead and popped those off and then stuck them back on You can see then just held on with tape from behind uh, So those are sanded down with 2,000 grit sandpaper and I'm just gonna spray in this little room here All this stuff in here can get a little overspray on it um, but for now we're gonna go ahead and uh, I wax and grease to remove them and then all I'm using is this uh, Rust-Oleum paint and primer in one and it's a satin black color. I went with the satin black because I'm kind of going for like the matte black, like the matte black satin black look with the wheels and the lip and everything. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that real quick and then I will get back with you guys with the results. Guys, I see you can see that they're sprayed. That's just the first coat. I forgot to hit record. Uh, so I'll come back and we'll we'll finish doing this. Saturday morning about probably nine o'clock just had a little bit of breakfast had a little bit of coffee so we're gonna go ahead and finish up these door handles I forgot to pretty much film all of the painting but that's really not that hard to get I did three coats uh, just sprayed it on uh, real light the first time and then a little two thicker coats and just made sure I got all the edges and everything real good um, so now we're gonna go ahead and get them put on the car uh, I'll show you over here I got them painted they came out pretty good. There is a little bit of debris on one of the handles, um, but it's not bad enough to where it's ever going to bother me. I just really wanted them black, and they're black. And they match the wheels pretty good, so let's go ahead and get them mounted up, and then we'll go from there. But you left me alone inside these empty broken walls, and I can't see it clearly, but it's obvious I know.
in here a little bit. Um, but these bolts here that go into the door, um, what I ended up doing is I got a small small socket with an extension with um, you know just a screwdriver extension, and I put some molly grease down in here um, to hold the bolt in so you don't lose it inside the door so you can screw it in. Uh, so that's that's all I'm doing there. last bolt that goes into the side of the door here is actually a, a Torx bit. I don't know what size, but just make sure you have some Torx bits laying around. So, weirdly enough though, there's not another one of these on the other side. I don't know why. Um, but I'm not going to show you the other side just because it's a little boring just to watch me screw and screws and clip on clips. Um, but essentially you just got to go in reverse, put those three clips on. The one that I had the hardest doing was the little yellow clip. Um, it's kind of hard to maneuver it in place, but other than that, it, it all went smoothly. Just when you're doing it, make sure you're kind of careful that you're not uh, banging the door handle against a bunch of stuff or you'll mess up the paint that you just did, uh, which would kind of suck. But here you go. So like first, here's my wheels. Um, you know, and I, that's what I was trying to match. And there's the door handle, and you can pretty much see it. That that's a pretty close match. The finish I got—it's a little dirty right now. Um, 
it's a little orange peely, um, but for what I'm, for what I care about, it's better than the silver because that was what bothered me the most. Um, I think that looks, that looks a million times better. Now that side marker right there, that's going next. That's got to go. Uh, they're on back order though. And the next mod that I wanted to do was the, was uh, the the art pipes, uh, the test pipes. Um, but I got I looked online and they are out of stock for like I don't know they're saying like 12 to 16 weeks is what I gotta wait so that's kind of annoying but we'll find we'll figure something out <laughs> guys the handles were an absolute success I'm pretty happy with it they are pretty much a direct match for the wheels there wasn't like hardly any the debris in the handles at even spraying them in the garage uh all in all i'm pretty impressed it was pretty easy uh there's a, the only thing i will say is that my button that is on this side uh the handles are actually made out of plastic um so when you start saying so when you start screwing on those two screws that i said were loctited and uh and kind of rusted in the they have like a little metal insert in them and when i started screwing on it it actually popped, the, the plastic around it broke and the metal insert started spinning. Um, and then when I screwed it back in, uh, the metal insert actually popped out. So I just told my wife, just don't ever touch that side. And if it becomes a problem, I'll pull it back off and put a little bit of JV weld in there or something and kind of uh, re-glue re it down or how, so I'll do something. Uh, but for now, it's not gonna be a problem. Uh, it's pretty well matched for the car. I mean, here's the wheels, here's the handles, pretty awesome. We're gonna take it out for a drive in a little bit and I'll get some shots out there. And as for debris, like there's like very small things, like there's that, that's that's on the driver's side, which may bother me for a little bit. Um, but all in all, it's not too bad. And then, of course, you can see a little bit of silver in there. We'll see how it holds up. Um, I think it's gonna be fine. I just wanna thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for, you know, sticking around. Um, I know I was gone for like a month and a half. Uh, but again, like I said, I'm trying to make content when I feel like making content, not just trying to force it out. Um, and now the weather's back and nice. We'll be taking more cruises. We're doing a little bit more stuff here and there. Uh, so I just want to thank you guys. I want to remind you to always make the dream work. And I will see you guys later.